Hi guys, welcome to a new video. I thought I'd do a bit of an update because someone did request an update regarding my goldfish. Um, we've got a plastic tub here. I've done regular water changes every couple of days. There's a nest down there. Um, I did have it in a smaller tub uh, um, before, but I felt that we need to get a bit more room so the fish can swim about. Um, but I have noticed she's sinking into the actual um, water a little bit and not floating right to the top as she is now sometimes. Um, but she's basically just floating upside down like this and not going anywhere. So I'll just show you what's happening. As you can see, that's more or less how she seems to stay for ages. And as you can see, uh, she's breathing quite heavily and obviously she was panicking earlier when I was doing a water top up so I let her settle for a couple of hours um, but as you can see it doesn't look very good um, let's just try and touch her see if we can get her to swim um, she was swimming um, a little bit getting you know position into the right position but she's really struggling to move at all and I'll just try and get her to roll over get her to swim a little bit but as you can see she's rolling over quite a bit she's really struggling and I'm a bit concerned I don't know what to do so again going upside down again I think I think it's progressively getting worse now to the point where I'm thinking that maybe it might be a good idea to euthanize her um, but she may go at any point now um, she's really struggling but I thought I'd just give you an update the situation is she's getting worse and worse despite my best efforts to try and isolate her in this quarantine tub um, you know, she seems to be breathing heavily and she doesn't want to swim much. Um, I don't think she's eating hardly anything. I've been giving her a, a diet and not feeding her much. Um, and I've used, obviously, the method of using some cut peas. Um, but that's not solved the problem. She just seems to be getting worse and worse. Skin seems to look terrible and, and seems to be getting worse. So at some point, I think the skullfish is on its last legs. I'm, I'm not too happy about it because obviously I've had it for over two years. Um, and I've isolated her from the main um, Blagden pond that I've got. Check my other videos if you want to see that. Um, just to isolate and uh, make sure the other fish don't get unwell. But as you can see, it's not looking good. The prognosis is probably going to be she passes away in a couple of days but there you go that's the update not great news but i thought i'd give you a little update on what's happening and you know i suspect it's probably gallbladder disease and i think she is egg bound as well probably and that's probably what's caused the disease in the first place um and unfortunately there's not much i can do so let me know in the comments do you think do you think she might survive or is it likely to get worse? Because as you can see, I try and get her to swim a little bit. Come on, swim, love. You know, swim a little bit. She's trying, clearly, but she's really having a hard time stabilising and then she goes, as you can see, upside down and floats back up again. Not good. Anyway, I know it's not great news, but I just wanted to give you an update on the disease as it stands.